The idea behind the cabinet is that it's, it's telling a story. It's that when I look at that cabinet, it's almost, to me, it's like reading a book. I was first approached by Bowmore uh, almost two years ago to create a home for the five releases of Black Bowmore. To come up with a, a, a concept of, of what I was going to create, I spent uh, a couple of days here in Isla and tried to capture um, the essence of Isla and the spirit of the, the people of Isla and Bowmore, the distillery itself. I wanted to create not only a piece of furniture, but almost a piece of functional art. I began my journey in Macar Bay, which is uh, one of the most remotest parts of the island. This part hasn't changed in thousands of years, millennia, and this is almost, almost my ground zero. You hear just the crashing waves and the wind, you're just surrounded by this amazing raw energy. When you look at the movement of the water, it creates these beautiful natural sculpted surfaces and textures all the way throughout the sands and the dunes. If you look at the exterior of the cabinet, those textures are reminiscent of what I saw at Macar Bay. Port Nahavan, which is a beautiful part of the island. I loved it there because when you walk down towards the lighthouse, you see the water rushing in past the, the lighthouse and the amazing greens and blacks in the water. It was here where I first really noticed the, the black rocks of Isla. That energy is all around you all the time and I, I want to somehow pull some of that energy into the, um, into the cabinet as well. The peat obviously is one of the four main ingredients for making whiskey. You have the wood, the peat, the barley, the water. And we encapsulated them in highly polished acrylic blocks, almost like capturing a piece of time. We selected a piece of the peat that came from Bowmore and had these amazing natural strands and textures coming off the side of the peat. And when you look at the block, you can see these strands almost just trapped there, but you can see the movement. I almost wanted to, to create almost like a time machine. It was all about time, the passing of time, and that that's picked up all the way throughout the cabinet. The Boomer Distillery itself is such an iconic piece of architecture and I love that the, the colours which are in the peat fire itself and the, the blacks and the browns and then the, obviously the flames. So that movement again of uh, natural material. The malting room where the barley is held, I love that all of the old trusses and the details in the, in the oak and the, the roof was, was beautiful as well. And then again, even the patterns that the barley was making on the floor when you pick that up and the, the feeling that that has in your hands when you drop it, I love that movement. And just, again, looking across these natural sculptures of how it's just laid down after just being turned. I picked up in a lot of the uh, metal detailing as in the wells and the, in the, the copper stills. So if you look at the base of the, the cabinet, that's all bronze and black and brass. They are the wells that I saw on some of the, the stills. In the interior of the cabinet, when you open it up, you have this amazing patination of uh, the copper, which I saw in the mash tun doors, and also the colours that I saw at the Port Nahaven in the water. So that, that green and verdigris colours in the, in the copper in the interior, um, again, a direct link back to the distillery. The washbacks, which are made of Oregon pine, and that Oregon pine I reused in the drawers of the, the cabinet. I also repurposed the old spirit safe, the brass, or the highly polished um, elements, that's the old spirit safe. And I also used all the handles and the valves. They were beautiful because they were capturing the people who worked in them for over 50 years. The acids from their fingers created these um, oxidized patterns and the, and the brass itself. When you go into the number one voice, there's a real atmosphere. You know you're in the presence of something extremely special. Inside the cabinet are going to be the five iconic Black Bumores. These were distilled in 1964 when the distillery converted from coal to steam. When we went to sample these casts in 1993 before we released them, we realised the whisky was fantastic quality. The colour was black, hence the name Black Bumore. They're all different, the taste totally different. People want to try them and they have become iconic and collectible. It's using true pieces of the distillery in the cabinet, which adds this whole deeper level to the piece itself. Every single detail is highly considered that it has to tell a part of the story of Isla, Black Bowmore, and the people of Isla and the craftsmen and women 
who actually helped shape the distillery. The person who ends up with this cabinet in their possession, they're going to end up with a, a true piece of history, functional piece of art that will be recognised globally as a true piece of luxury.